have there been examples of successful lawsuits like that? I haven't seen any yet. I've seen other lawsuits that have been successful and that are pending. I want to say one more thing, is that if you provoke a, a severe allergic reaction in someone, you will never forget it. You will never forget it. It is a traumatic, traumatic event to witness. It's life-changing. And these people who are saying, why should I care, why should I care, they do not want their children to be in the room if something happens to my son or to another child of that magnitude. Our conversation with North America's top allergy legal expert, Elizabeth Goldenberg, 514-7900991. Uh, lots of reaction texts coming in for you, Elizabeth. This one says, Gad from Montreal says, a parent would say that would be a sick uh, parent, but this texter says for 99% of people, nuts and peanut products are very nutritious and quite affordable. Not sure that penalizing the general public for the issues of a very few is the right thing to do. However, I do understand the concern. Uh, it's not an easy call. Doing the American thing of suing people is wrong. Great show. That's from uh, Eddie. Uh, when you're talking before about uh, what happens if you I ignore this and and there is an attack that it would be horrendous for other children to even witness it, uh, paint us a picture of what happens if somebody who has a life-threatening allergy uh, it does get seriously in touch with that allergen. Well, I mean, what happens is they will begin to experience symptoms. Likely they would be very frightened by them because they should be aware of their allergy and they know that this can progress to severe consequences if not treated properly and that even with proper treatment, sometimes people don't survive an allergic reaction. It's 90% survivable. The severe allergic reaction known as anaphylactic shock may be a little bit more, but even with um, appropriate treatment, it can be fatal. So say they ate something by accident. And, and this does happen in schools. It happens in restaurants. Uh, people make mistakes sometimes or, or they take chances they shouldn't take. Um, and they realize, oh, no, I've come in contact with my allergen. I have a strange taste in my mouth. My tongue is tingling. <clears throat> my throat doesn't feel correct. I feel pain in my throat. My throat's closing. I've heard of people where they're, um, your vascular system can become quite weepy and their whites of their eyes can go bright red or bulging. Um, you know, people can very quickly uh, collapse, struggling for breath. Um, the allergen uh, attacks, uh, we call them shock organs. You might have gastrointestinal uh, symptoms. You might wet your pants, that type of thing, have severe cramping there. Uh, neurological symptoms pass out. Um, heart and lung symptoms. It can feel like a severe asthma attack. You know, I'm absolutely suffocating. I have no air. Uh, you can go into cardiac arrest. So, and it's very frightening. These people get a sense of doom. You know, you, you just know trouble is here. Um, the appropriate treatment, and this is something people also dread, unfortunately, they should not. It's, it's pain-free and it's, it's extraordinarily effective, uh, is a shot of epinephrine. And people, uh, they normally deliver it in what's called EpiPen, but we also have an injector in Canada called Allerject, and it's a new product. People with allergies should have two doses of epinephrine within reach at all times. So what they do at the, really the first sign of trouble, uh, we advocate uh, in our training course, uh, you use it at the very first symptom if you have known ingestion, like, oh, no, I just realized I ate something that contained my allergen and I have one symptom, it doesn't matter what it is, you use your EpiPen. If you have unknown ingestion, gee, did I come in contact with something and get it into my system, uh, I'm not sure what's going on, any two symptoms. And the two symptoms can be as closely related as like itchiness and hives, that's two, right? Or a scratchy throat and a, a, you know, a, a slight wheeze. You use your epinephrine then. And uh, they, they dread that. They put it off. But you know you're going to need an EpiPen injection and you're going to need to go to the hospital. Allergy is very dangerous for many people. Uh, Greg uh, wants to know, instead of uh, treating or helping the immune system, uh, the fear of death is being instilled. I think uh, time and effort should be spent on figuring out why kids today are 75% more likely to have these allergies than kids 20 years ago. There's a lot of research and theories about what's causing the allergies. I honestly don't think it's ever going to be unraveled. 
and there are works uh, work being done on treatments, but really the treatments are not cures, they're therapies to make people less reactive so that a trace of their allergen might not hurt them, but going beyond a certain dose of their allergen still will, and those people still have to carry up an epinephrine. I can't imagine uh, allowing a certain amount of allergen and somehow attempting to monitor it in grams rather than avoiding the allergen right. entirely. Yeah, this one says, this texture, Mario says, uh, to attack someone deliberately with something you know to be a life-threatening allergen is assault without question. Uh, right. But to expect the whole world not to eat peanut butter is ridiculous. If you're in danger of death due to peanut butter, you may need to more or less sequester yourself. What would you tell Mario? Well, first of all, no one expects the whole world not to eat peanut butter. That's ridiculous. What we do generally is see um, modifications in elementary schools only, not in high schools where they put some peanut and nut safety protocol in place, either restricting it or containing it or giving the allergic kids a, a place to eat safely. And those children are still perfectly entitled to eat peanut butter at home, and they can eat it for dinner. They just can't eat it for lunch. So it, it's really not that horrible a hardship. We do have a case of assault in Montreal that's uh, up for a first appearance, I think, on June 3rd. Uh, it's a victim who reached out to me. His name is Alex Montre, and he was deliberately attacked with his allergen during a confrontation at Jewish General Hospital, and he was harmed. The allergen made contact with his face. I don't know if it got through his eyes, nose, or mouth, or if it was just the skin contact. Uh, luckily, he was in the hospital. He was whisked away to the emergency department. He but, received treatment, and he has continuing physical consequences and symptoms. And but I guess health. that would depend if the person who did it knew that he had an allergy or not. She did know because uh, she overheard uh -huh. his uh, allergy aware order where he explained that he has a life-threatening allergy to tomatoes. Oh, wow. And... Uh, it happened that he ordered in English and the... Yes, well, I, we're familiar with, it, with it, the case. We're monetary. monitoring it very closely. Thank you uh, for joining us.